Okay, both of you are currently single, but you are not always single. You're emphasizing it. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere with this. Y'all were not always single. Y'all were in relationships. When you okay, first of all, were there any serious relationships then? Did you have a serious relationship at some point? I hope it doesn't offend anyone, but yeah, I had one serious relationship. One serious relationship. Mm, actually, yeah. actually, we're married right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When you got into these serious relationships, what were your views of separation? Did you were you like, okay, anytime I might separate you, or it was like, you know what, I'm here for the long haul, marriage till death do us part. Like, what was your view on separation? Well. Remember at first I said trust. that I had trust issues. Yes. So for me, in every relationship, I've always been ready to leave. Okay. Right? Yeah. I've always been at the door. Like, anything happens, I'm gone. Mm-hmm. And I I never had a problem with losing anybody. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want to leave, you can leave. I'm not going to linger you or anything like that, you know? Yeah. So that was always my positioning. Yeah. Now... With that specific relationship, it was more, um, so I never saw myself letting go of all that. And then eventually I found that this felt like a safe space. Okay. This felt like what I needed. Mm -hmm. This felt like what I've always wanted, but didn't know how to find it or where to find it. Mm -hmm. And now building on that, it, it became something that i wanted and i'd never wanted to let go so it then i started looking at marriage for it okay. you know so that's that's how serious for me it got mm. and eventually things happen unfortunately then we had to part ways but the good thing is that that gave me a, an experience that i've never had Before. and felt like okay this this is like it's not as bad as i thought mm-hmm. Like the fears that I had towards this feeling is not exactly what I thought it was, right? Yeah. So that gave me a sense of hope. Yeah. Now, now I'm more open to it. Like if I find somebody that's worth it, I'm going to let go again. I'm going to experience the whole thing with them properly. Otherwise, um, a part of me still has issues with like, a part of me still doesn't mind losing people. Okay. If... The girl comes and she wants to leave tomorrow. Ah, uh, we're moving on. Like you, to cry for a girl, nah, bro, nah. You wanna go bounce? Wow. So good, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but I don't support divorce though. Like so if if what? I get married, mm. there's no divorcing. So that's why I'm very picky. Okay. Yeah. So you've made up your mind that. During the dating phase, you <laughs> might let someone go, but yeah. once you're married... But if, if I make up my mind to marry you, that means till death to us part. That's, that's wonderful to hear. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Your views on separation? <sighs> just, just give me flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first, I believe in a mutual agreement in terms of separation. I don't like um, parting ways with harsh words say that, say that each other. Mm-hmm. Most of my relationships have been peaceful. I mean, there have been a few that were not exactly mm-hmm. peaceful, but most of them have been peaceful. Me too. Um, <laughs> okay, so I, at some point, I, I joined his boat in terms of trust issues, and I'm just recovering from that. Okay. So over years, years back, years back, I was in a serious relationship. It lasted about three years. Mm-hmm. I was still at one. You know, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting married. Um, like I said, I'm a lover. I'm a romantic. So most of my relationship has always been long. Yeah. But then, um, I mean, the shortest relationship I've been in was three years. Okay. So, um... The shortest. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. So, my relationships, my relationships are pretty long. Okay. Wow. My relationships are pretty long. I'm, I'm a lover. I'm, I'm a romantic. Like, oh, when yes. I get in, I kind of invest myself. I don't know why I'm shocked. I, I don't know why you like, shocked. You know. I know it, but every time I hear that, <laughs> it always feels like, How? You how know? Oh, uh, So, yeah. okay. So, the first relationship happened. It, it, it ended up. Um, it ended badly though, but the discussion was had. Mm-hmm. So both me and her right now are okay with each other. Okay. And I'm friends with my exes, which is bad. Girls don't like that. But Ish. I always try to make peace when I part people with ways. You know, I might need you down the line. I don't know for what, but I might. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, first one ended ba- uh, badly. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. and that and broke my trust. Okay. And that's when I joined his boat. Mm-hmm. From then onwards, I didn't look at shit. Okay. You come in, you go. Even if it's three, four years we're together, if you wanna go, you know, you can go. Feel free. Enjoy your life. I'm also gonna move on. Mm-hmm. And I'm only recovering from that now. So even my previous relationship, it was about two, three years ago. It was the same. Mm-hmm. As much as it was long, but there was a lot of living and coming, okay. living and coming. Cause I didn't care. Okay. You wanna go? Go. Yeah. If I wanna go, I'm gonna go. If you're gonna be here when I'm back, yeah. cool on my business. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Uh, but I believe in uh, parting mutually. There's at least talking out yeah. before we just go cursing each other and stuff. I, I'm emotional, so I, if you're gonna leave and curse me and say Crazy. shit about me, yeah, it's gonna sit with me. It's gonna sit in my heart for quite a while, and I'm not gonna get peace with myself. So I'm always gonna keep reaching out to you mm-hmm. and be like, "Yo, can we at least make peace?" Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm a sissy. All right. Mm-hmm.